Welcome back, everybody, to the Renaissance Humanism Podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Riley. In today's episode, I'll be discussing uh, when did medieval Europe actually end, the end of the medieval period. For people who don't know what the medieval period was, it was a time lasting from 500 AD until 1500 AD, though some people do move the dates around a bit because those are exactly appropriate. For some people, the start of the medieval period was in the early 4th century, during the reign of Emperor Constantine the Great. He is often seen as Europe's first medieval monarch. But others put the date to the end of the actual Western Roman Empire in 547 AD, but usually it's around 500 AD. As for the medieval period itself, some date it until the 15th century, others all the way up until the early 19th century. The reason for this because parts of Central Europe were still very much run the feudal system, still very feudal, still the barons, still had uh, overlords ruling over peasants, and that didn't really end until the 19th century. But for the convenience of this episode, I'm going to talk about two dates. That's 1543 and 1492. Uh, I would argue that 1453 was actually the date of the ending of the medieval period because in 1453 two historical events happened. The first was the final destruction of the Roman Empire which existed from 27 BC before Christ to 1453 AD. It was with the destruction of the Eastern Roman Empire which is one of the two successor states of the Roman Empire, created in 330 AD. The Western Roman Empire was destroyed in 476 AD in the 5th century. The Eastern Roman Empire would come along until 1453, where it was finally destroyed by the Ottoman Turks, who were a splinter group of the Mongol hordes, the swathes of Europe, Swaves of, uh, well, East, yes, of Eastern Europe, and it's called the Russians, and also conquered Northern China, built the largest empire the world has ever seen. So that's the Turks, their splinter group from the Mongols as well. Now, the reason why 1453 is actually a, I would argue, the true state at the end of the medieval period, the true end of it, was first, it marked the end of the Roman Empire, it marked the final end of the legacy of Rome. And that Europe uh, went its own way, and it says each individual nation was forged, the kingdoms were forged by that point, identities were created. There was this idea of being separateness as well, and that the Roman Empire was never going to rise again, that Europe would never be united again as a civilization. In comparison, if we look at China, China, its history is repeatedly broken apart several times. It's been divided more than it's been united. But even after a couple of centuries, a warlord, an emperor comes to power, reunites the kingdom, and then there's unity for a few more centuries, and there's disunity, and so on and so forth. So, so, far. so China, China is not just a, it's not a nation state, I would argue. China is a civilization. For Europe, Europe is not a civilization. It's a collection of beliefs with the destruction of Rome and no longer being a united Europe in terms of its politics, its ideology. That well and truly is dead, dead as a dodo. Also, in 1453, it marked the end of the 100 Years War between England and France, which lasted from 1337 until 1453. And that was a break as well. And in that time, it saw centralization. And within the Kingdom of France, to defeat the British and a uh, separate identity. The British are fighting the French because of foreign invasion from the French and for the French feel the same towards the British, develop separate identities between the English and the actual French. So they came two separate cultural groups and the nobility in both nations really divided permanently from the basis. The other date is 1492 where Christopher Columbus discovered the Americas in the Caribbean and uh, found the Americas 
And I was scored by Yard Pearson in 1492. And that's from the day what marks the end of the medieval period. I would say 4053 is the exact is the best date because it's a, it's, it's a turning point in European history, particularly. It's when things truly changed. It's when we were emerging from the Dark Ages, from the medieval period, and Europe actually had established dynasties, established kingdoms, which were united and separate. And also the end of Rome as well, end of the Hundred Years' War, it was a massive turning point in uh, human history. I hope you all found today's podcast informative and insightful. Thank you for listening. Peace out.